citizens speak out. The movements of those gathering to call for greater freedom, dignity and participation in government continues as people speak up in countries worldwide including Bahrain, Burkina Faso, China, Côte d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast, Libya, Mexico, Syria and Yemen. Côte d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast President Alassane Ouattara attended a ceremony Saturday, April 30th, in which troops loyal to former President Laurent Gbagbo handed in their weapons. On Saturday also, China released human rights lawyer Teng Biao, who had been arrested for his role in calling for protests. At the same time, reports surfaced that another lawyer was detained. Minority parties in Burkina Faso are demanding that long-standing President Blaise Kempore resign, stating that his policies are responsible for the country's recent unrest. Syrian government forces once again quelled protests on Saturday as citizens demanded to be heard despite the threat of deadly force, particularly in the city of Daraa, which has been under military siege. With residents reporting on the brutal effects of the crackdown, they have called for the international community to save them from a massacre occurring in their city. As Yemeni President Ali Abdullah Saleh decided not to sign an agreement to resign within 30 days, government security forces meanwhile killed four people while suppressing protesters who continued to demand his immediate departure. As we sorrow for the lives lost, we pray for the ceasing of conflicts in every country and that all people choose to live in shared safety, dignity and respect so that peace may prevail across the globe. In sorrowful response to these unfortunate world events, Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly reminds, If the road is wrong, the more we walk on it, the more we go wrong. Any leaders who committed harm to others should stop at once sincerely repent to God, and act to redeem their mistaken deeds. Then they will be pardoned, even if humans can't forgive. Heaven will 